Hi, my name is Gavin Akadiva. I'm one of the senior prototype engineers over at the WP Launch Lab Maker Lab. And today we're just going to go over the basics of the Maker Lab as well as some of the resources and processes we have at our disposal that you can work with. So, just to start off, people first like to ask when they come to the Maker Lab is who's really taking advantage of these resources and who can use them. And really, it's just about anyone that works at the Maker Lab. So, we get a lot of students that come in there, such as engineering sciences. We also get some medical students and environmental science students. And they all come in with the same idea in mind for just something to be different, something to be changed, a new product to be developed. And they all come to us to really work with them to develop that product further. We also just get a lot of people from the job industry itself that working like day on, day off, they know how everything works and they see a need for something to be different within the industry product wise and they want to be the person to sell that new product. So I do talk throughout the video a lot about prototypes and I do like to mention the difference between prototypes and proof of concepts. So they generally work hand in hand. Proof of concepts generally focus on just getting your ideas on pen and paper and understanding what you want to do and seeing if it's doable. So that involves doing research. On the other hand, we have prototypes, which are actually included with proof of concepts and actually develop physical products you can hold in your hand, which is very nice. This allows you to show it off to investors. They do really appreciate when you have a physical product in your hand to know that what you're telling them can actually be done. Additionally, it also allows for multiple iterations. So say you're working on something involving a handle, for instance, and you just it looks good on paper, but holding it in your hand just didn't feel right. So we can go in, we can change that up, which is very nice to do on very quickly. So within the Maker Lab, we have different tools that are disposable that you can use. So one of the tools that we primarily use is a 3D printer. So this one right here is one of many we have at our disposal. And really what we do with this is we take our CAD models, which I'll go into further later, and turn the CAD model into a physical product. So we have a variety of different materials that come from here in both flexible materials, harder materials, ones that can withstand higher temperatures, as well as just a variety of different colors so we can get it really close to what your market is gonna be. So I do actually have one of our 3D prints here that I'll show you now. And it just gives you idea of how you can make just something that comes off a printer in plastic and turn that into a physical model. So what we have here is it's got a Raspberry Pi within it and it's just a case really, but it is very nice to just show how you can take advantage of 3D printing to develop a functional product. So additionally to 3D printers, we also have laser cutter, we also have a CNC machine slash 3D printer. Uh, we also have woodworking tools and electronics equipment. So we can really do anything within our maker lab. But in the off chance that you want to go bigger or you want to develop something that maybe we can't build in-house, we can always outsource it to different people in the community as well as the engineering colleges labs as well, which has more industrial level equipment. So I guess focusing on the Maker Lab and just how we do things within there, we first start out with just an initial meeting and it gives clients a good idea as well as the employees of just what you're thinking and what we can do to help you. And from there, we'll do our research develop and develop CAD models from that to really see how it's going to picture in real life. Once I, we're both satisfied with the CAD models, we can then move into manufacturing. So what we'll do for that is generally we'll work on the printer as well as the variety of other machines we have at our disposal. And we'll get something from the CAD models onto the printer and get them going. So no matter the size, we can work with it, which is very nice. And then we move into just the final finalization phase, which really is just doing your testing, making sure everything works as planned, and then we can eventually show it off to investors where they can work with that you to get it going. So one thing I did want to go over besides just the manufacturing itself and the different aspects of the Maker Lab is also just what CAD is and going over what we would normally do within the software if anyone is interested. So I'll show you that now. All right, so now I've moved into the CAD part 
And I just wanted to mention that we work with a variety of different softwares within the Maker Lab. So this is Fusion 360. However, we do still work with SolidWorks as well as Blender and a variety of other different softwares. So if you already come into the lab and you have CAD models developed and you want to print them out, we can finalize them within our softwares or just print them out directly. So what I have in front of us today is just a CAD model I've done a while back. So this is not part of the Maker Lab program. This is rather just something I've done in my free time, but I think it gives a good example of what we can do for you. So in this instance, this is a computer case I've designed and it shows how we can import various components as well as really get the sizing correct. So when I made this, this came right off the printer and was ready to go. So it's very interesting to see how you can take something on a digital side and make it into a physical object so quickly on the 3D printers. But I'll also include a video past this that just shows the process I particularly took, but also generally the various other Maker Lab prototype engineers take in order to get their ideas into CAD and then finally print them out. I hope to see you in the Maker Lab soon to turn your ideas into a reality.